My name is Jen Beckor. I'm a sound healer and I've got these uh, Rife set tuning forks today and we're just going to show how they're going to be used and maybe give some tips on how to work with these and my experiences with them. I've got to work with them for the past couple months here and um, I use them Usually I do a sound healing, I'll use bowls and gongs, and um, I'll start a lot of times with these, with these tuning forks. I'll go over, over the body to begin and often to end a session. I'm gonna start by using a field around, this is Kai, and um, just feeling some energy around him that needs to be protected, um, broken off, and. I'll use these in a way that I don't normally. Um, they're, I usually am pretty sensitive with them, but these ones need a little bit of a, a clang, a break of, um, of the energy field just so he can feel safe and um, kind of pull out the ties of everything outside of him. So I'm just gonna start by um, just giving him a little bit of a, little bit of a hit. Bringing that energy down. And we're just breaking the outside world influence, letting him come into himself. We're grounding the energy. And again, I don't usually do this, um, but maybe for people that have a lot of outside work or what they're with a lot of people, um, they may need that, that connection in that way. I normally will use them a little with a soft mallet and just a nice, gentle, gentle sound. So that's usually how I would start. And right now we're using the 465. And I like to bring in both as well. I'm just working through some of this, this energy field. I like to work on the head usually first after we kind of establish the boundaries and safety. Um, with some people, this sounds immediately go to old wounds. You can feel um, some vulnerability in things that they're working with, maybe some skin issues, maybe old, old um, like maybe falling off a bike or hurting yourself. Like even as a child, it's energy still sits in the field until you consciously remove it. Here is the 787. And I just want you to hear that one differently from the other one. How do you feel with the sound of this one? Very intense. It's like too much? Not quite too much, it's just a lot. Okay. Yeah, it's a little high frequency and it's working through a lot. I have used these when I have a small dog that gets really upset during the, the um, lightning storms. And I've used these, these frequencies, especially I think the 787 and the 880. And she, nothing usually calms her and these these did so we use those now when when there's fireworks when there's the lightning like the the relaxation piece of these is it's pretty it's pretty big so we're just going to go over here now when when you hear something that's that's not where the forks kind of go dead 
you might want to focus on that a little more and work on um, just moving it out and about. You can do different kinds of techniques of using kind of a separating kind of energy, a um, just waving it, dissipating energies over here. Sometimes these will go into the places where you have injury and actually cause a little bit of more pain if you sit with it. It can be um, it can be a lot of release. Sometimes you have to sit with a little bit of pain before it releases, though. So don't um, don't give up too early. You might want to bring in that other this other guy. Let's see how this feels. This will be the 880. This one will be even more intense. A little even higher frequency. And then again, just breathing in that frequency, bringing that in. I've trained with a couple of different sound healer teachers, and one of them, um, Jonathan Goldman, he always says that our intention plus the sound itself is what creates the healing or the miracles. He'll he'll say either one. But if you're having an intention for you know, breathing this in, releasing, giving yourself um, this healing, allowing it in, that helps as well. You don't need it. These frequencies will get to the, the heart of things without, without any extra work on your part. But, I mean, we always want to take the opportunity to do more. This one's a really high pitched sound and you might not be able to hear it very well, but um, it is pretty loud for the person that's receiving. So do be pretty cognizant unless you're just trying to really shake them awake. These are pretty intense sounds, even though they're, they're small, small and mighty. I'm going to take these two higher frequency ones and bring them up around the head. Just kind of opening up that crown here. Some people feel nothing and some people feel a pressure at the top of their head. Some people are may just feel like a little tingling i've had some people come in with with things that they forgot that they had and the the tuning forks will they kind of find it they go through the body and weed it out and sometimes i have people do i don't know if you feel like it um just do a little humming with this just make a little sound with these forks right up by the throat. So, mm -hmm. <clears throat> there you go. Yeah. Just we want to move that out of there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'll usually do these with just a, you know, like a smaller version before I'm doing um, the sound, the sound bowls on the body or the gongs, and we'll use that to to set the the session. And then at the end, we'll do the same thing. Um, that's how, that's how I do it. You could do it any any ways. And another way I like to do is to um, to ground afterwards. So I may do play some gongs during or after and then have the person maybe i might have you just sit up I'm just moving this around the body and you could do this for yourself as well you could just you can just hold these to your own head and work through the body um i i think that these are going to be really great for um for any kind of like reiki healers 
Um, even massage therapists, I think it'll be really good for people that are doing um, real, you know, deep body work. I think they're going to love these. And these are such a like healing frequency. And I, I've had several clients see, um, you'll, it shows you the, the issue. There may be some vulnerabilities that you didn't know that you had or that, you, that were old that may come up to the surface. So I've had people feel, had questions about whether they're, they needed to have something looked in on their, like their menstrual cycle and these, these showed it, they just showed it, they showed up things like, like things like, like bronchitis and lung things. And I think that that really works with things like menstrual. I've seen a lot of that, the, the lung things, some um, old injuries, it, it really goes straight to those areas. You're just opening that space up and allowing yourself to come come back in and just really settle into the body. Those are those are usually how I work with those. So um, I don't think there's anything else I I have to. I don't remember if there's anything else, but that's what I got for you today. 